Welcome to FewShot Multimodal Multitask Multilingual Learning, FM3. Transfer learning comes in two different flavors, FewShot learning and fine tuning. Let's talk about FewShot learning first. While FewShot learning is great for scenarios with limited data, it has primarily only been explored in the context of building unimodal and unilingual models. FewShot multitask learning proposals that perform in-context learning require manual prompt engineering, which is a double-edged sword. Come up with a well-tuned prompt, and you'll get great results with a relatively low number of support examples. However, if you're not looking to put in manual effort and tune your prompt, it'll be difficult to predict if you'll get stellar results. Thus, the level of prompt engineering can cause a significant yet unpredictable impact on the model's performance. Finally, another downside of in-context learning-based methods is that they offer high latency because in-context learning involves running all of the prompts examples through the model every time a prediction is made. On the other hand, transfer learning via fine-tuning methods avoid these issues with in-context learning at a one-time cost of fine-tuning weights on a per-task basis. Fine-tuning methods offer better computational memory and storage efficiency, which results in much better latency than in-context learning-based methods. However, while fine-tuning based methods are prevalent in cases of tasks with no restrictions on the volume of annotated data, they have been relatively unexplored for few short scenarios, especially in multimodal multitask learning. Enter FM3. FM3 adapts pre-trained vision and language models using task-specific hypernetworks and contrastively fine-tunes them to enable few short learning. The unique selling point of FM3 is a scalable architecture that spans modalities, tasks, and languages while offering competitive performance and being parameter efficient. Another aspect of FM3 is that it's modular in that it does not require fine-tuning weights of its vision and language backbones, which means you can bring your own modality encoder and all you need to do is just fine-tune lightweight hypernetworks, which contain only an additional 10% of the encoder's parameters. Let's talk about data sets next. FM3 has been fine-tuned on a total of 10 tasks broadly split in two categories. First, language understanding tasks such as named entity recognition and the standard glue benchmark. Second, vision and language reasoning tasks such as visual entailment and two visual question answering datasets, namely VQA V2 and its more challenging cousin OKVQA. Now let's move over to the model architecture. If you pop open the hood of FM3, you'll see three distinct stages. Stage one utilizes contrastive learning, which effectively scales up our data sets to k into k minus one by two examples, assuming k is the number of annotated data set examples. Stage two utilizes hypernetworks, which offer knowledge sharing across tasks. We utilize one hypernetwork for each modality and choose the current state of the art in terms of vision and text encoders. In particular, we use MPNet as our text encoder and COCA as our vision encoder. Stage three trains task-specific classification heads on the fine-tuned model from stage two. Let's talk about results. We compare FM3 with each task's respective few short learning and fine-tuned baseline. Referring to the graph on the left, FM3 outperforms task-specific few short learning baselines on seven out of 10 tasks with just 16 samples per task. Furthermore, FM3 is competitive with state-of-the-art methods fine-tuned on up to hundreds of thousands of annotated examples. On four out of 10 tasks, FM3 outperforms fine-tuned state-of-the-art despite using a single set of weights and only 64 examples per task. Finally, looking at the latency numbers in the right graph, FM3 yields a 50% latency improvement on an average compared to our next best few short learning state-of-the-art baseline on VQA and OKVQA datasets. Finally, let's conclude by summarizing some key takeaways. FM3 addresses the relatively unexplored niche of few-shot multimodal multitask multilingual learning. The idea behind FM3 is to combine the best of both worlds of in-context learning and fine-tuning. FM3 surpasses state-of-the-art performance on most tasks compared to few-shot learning state-of-the-art baselines. And lastly, FM3 offers an efficient architecture that can scale to different modalities, tasks, and languages. Thank you.